Every day should start with goodwill. A wish for your own happiness, a wish for the happiness of others. And the resolve to try to make those two kinds of happiness work together. We practice generosity and virtue, and we meditate because these are ways of finding happiness that don't interfere with anyone else's. In fact, they actually help other people be happy. We have to remember how precious these practices are. We start doing them every day, we forget there are places in the world where people don't have the opportunity to do this, or they don't take the opportunity to when it's there. Which means they're looking for a kind of happiness that is harmful. So when we find these practices, we should make the most of them. We don't have much material wealth to be generous with. We can always be generous with our time, generous with our knowledge, generous with our forgiveness. That's something everyone can do. The same with virtue. We can all learn to abstain from ways of acting that are harmful to ourselves and other people. And the same with meditation. But meditation requires more skill. When you're generous, when you're virtuous, you can just follow the example of others. But when you're meditating, it's you inside, with yourself, dealing with your own thoughts, your own defilements, your own good and bad qualities. And they come in your own particular mix. Which is why the best meditation instructions are the ones that teach you how to be observant about what your mix is and give you some general principles that you have to use your own discernment to figure out how to apply. And it's that way that your discernment develops. Discernment is not just a matter of cloning the Buddha's insights. We use his insights on how to ask questions. So eventually we get the right answers. The answers that are just right for our minds. So we should try to excel at all three kinds of ways of finding happiness, particularly in the meditation, because when the mind gets under control, then it's a lot easier to be virtuous, it's a lot easier to figure out ways of being generous. But the three qualities help one another along. Make sure that none are lacking in your life. And that way your happiness becomes all around. There will be disappointments in life. After all, we live in a karmic realm where people with mixed karmic backgrounds are born. So we're going to meet with good things and meet with bad things. But if we develop these three kinds of happiness, then those other things don't matter. Because we know we have something that's really solid, something that we can depend on. Something falls in line with that wish we can make every morning. May I be happy, may all beings be happy. So it's not just an empty wish, it's actually the way we lead our lives.